welcome back to the lazy girl's kitchen my name is maggie and on today's episode i'm so excited to share with you my rosemary and garlic bread recipe now essentially this is going to cook or bake i should say in a cast iron skillet because it gives it such a smoky beautiful flavor if you don't have one just feel free to use whatever you use for baking or another skillet that will do fine but if you don't have one i do suggest that's something you pick up because the taste that you get from the cast iron skillet and just the way it cooks it's just incredible i love it so without me rambling on for any longer let me take you through your list of ingredients so to make this you really do not need much you're going to need some all-purpose flour some dry um active dry yeast some salt some chopped up garlic, some fresh rosemary, and then some warm water. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna activate our dry yeast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour my package of yeast into my warm water. It's very important that you use warm water because cold water is not gonna activate the yeast. So I'm just gonna let this sit for about a minute or two and still it, until it starts to get really frothy and then I'll meet you back here for the next step. So my yeast is all set, it's starting to get really fluffy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some salt into this mixture. And I'm gonna give this a nice stir. I can already start to smell the yeast. Okay, now it's time to put this into our flour. Make sure everything's nice and dissolved. Okay. I'm gonna add this into our flour mixture. And I'm gonna start to mix this up. So my mixture is nice and combined. I'm gonna leave it in here. Now this is a very important step. You're gonna take a clean kitchen towel and you're gonna cover your mixture like so. And you're gonna put this in a nice warm place in your house for about one hour. What we're looking for is for the mixture to grow. You basically just want it to almost double in size. So I'm gonna meet you back here in one hour so we can proceed to the next process. I mean, the next step. <laughs> All right, so my bread, um, my dough has been resting for an hour and look at this baby like look at it it, ro it rose so beautifully it's gorgeous so for this stage you're gonna need some olive oil so you're gonna put some olive oil into your cast iron skillet because we're gonna transfer this from here to here you're also gonna need some additional flour this is gonna be very sticky but don't you worry it'll all work itself out and it's gonna be delicious you're gonna sprinkle some flour over the top. You're also gonna get nice and floury hands. We're gonna move this over. Look at this. Oh, I love, love dough. Like I said, it's gonna be sticky, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be so good. We're gonna take this out ooh, of our bowl. And we're gonna transfer it over into our skillet. Kind of just gonna form. All right, let me switch over so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so the dough is now in here. I'm gonna take the rest of the dough that's in here and kind of scrape it out. Because no man left behind. Right. I just kind of put it together a little tiny bit. All right, that is good for me. Let me move this out of your way. That is good for me. So what you're gonna do now is the second step of rising is you're gonna cover this with your dish towel again for another 30 minutes. And then we're gonna let this rise beautifully so it covers your entire pan. And then we're gonna finish it up before we put it in the oven. Okay, you guys, so before we go any further, you're gonna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. You wanna get that out of the way. So when we're done prepping this, you could just stick it in the oven. There we go. Da dun da dun da dun. It grew nicely. It's not perfect, but that's life. I don't care. 
it's gonna get perfect in the oven you just wait and see so we're gonna finish this bad boy up before we stick it in the oven so what you're gonna want to do is drizzle some olive oil over the top actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this I went kind of heavy on the olive oil at the bottom of the pan so I'm just gonna take it from the bottom so I brushed my bread with some olive oil now taking a knife I'm gonna go ahead and kind of cut into it a little bit like so just to make like a nice little I don't know design I guess you could say and then to finish it up what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle it with some salt some salt there we go our rosemary which I diced up quite finely you just wait until you like bite into this you're gonna be like what and then finally the finishing touch our garlic which I also diced up quite finely and the garlic is gonna get nice and brown and golden it's really gonna bake into your bread so when you bite into it you get that rosemary garlic crunch oh, you just wait and see so this is gonna go into your preheated oven for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown and when it comes out I'm gonna show you what it looks like so we can try it okay so my bread has been out of the oven for like 30 seconds and i could not resist it because it smells so delicious that i had to try it so i cut a little piece off i would show you what it looks like it's behind me if you can see but the skillet is still so hot that i just don't want to touch it so i cut a little piece off and i just put some butter on it because to me bread without butter is not bread so i needed to just do it i just want you to hear the crunchiness of this You hear that? The outside is perfectly crunchy. And the inside is soft and fluffy and full of flavor. I can't even tell you the rosemary and the garlic just kind of cook together and the combination is just incredible. You have to make this. It was so easy. And rather than going out to your grocery store, you can make it yourself. Keep it in the freezer, and when you need it, just take it out, and it'll be nice and fresh for you. It's definitely worth it. It's so good. I promise you. I would not lie to you guys. We're friends now. I wouldn't do that. So make sure you head over to www.thelazygirlskitchen.com to get this fantastic recipe. Make sure you subscribe and give me a big thumbs up. I'm going to continue to keep eating, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!